What is going on, snipers? Naeem Alabadi here. I hope all of y'all are coping well today with the market. This is our market update today. We're going to be looking at Bitcoin and Ethereum's technical analysis because Ethereum right now is hitting all time lows for 2018. We're also going to be talking about Bitcoin's Lightning Network as well as Bitfinex adding fiat pairings for other altcoins, which is exciting because. You know how all of these coins are attached to Bitcoin? There needs to be a solution to this. And this isn't going to be the end-all be-all solution, but I think it'll definitely help. So looking at the technical analysis for Bitcoin first and foremost, there's something really interesting about what we're seeing right now. And it actually goes and coincides with the Fibonacci retracement. So we're going to go to the four-hour chart here. And the Fibonacci retracement actually predicts potential support and resistance levels. So we're going to insert that Fibonacci retracement. I'm going to show you exactly how we're bouncing off of known Fibonacci retracement levels. You can see we're bouncing on that 0.23 right now. And that indicates we're gonna see most likely some sort of a pullback from here, seeing a little bit of further highs, but for the most part, we're still in this bear trend. We're most likely gonna consolidate back down from these levels towards this known low of right around 6,000. And the reason I say that is because the RSI on the one day at the moment for Bitcoin is currently not oversold. You can see how we're starting to head down to that 30. And in my opinion, that's where we're gonna see that bounce. And I made an announcement that I'm starting to dollar cost average my position into Bitcoin yesterday. And I think some people may have taken that as I'm going all in, but I even said in the video that we still expect further downside. So understand dollar cost averaging is a way of managing your risk and allocating your capital inside of any market properly to the point where you're diversified or you're entering a position in with set parameters, whether it's buying Bitcoin on Monday at 12 p.m. every Monday or buying Ethereum. It's just putting in your position one at a time. So putting 10% in is what I did yesterday, putting another 10% in today, putting another 10% in as time progresses, as these lower RSI levels are fulfilled, so that once we head towards these higher RSI levels, which over 40 would be considered neutral, that's when I would most likely choose to take my profits until we see further pullback. And then we can go into that bullish RSI, which is over 60. That's really where you'll start to ensure you have positions in the market and you're well diversified because when Bitcoin goes up, most altcoins go up. But I think that's starting to change as well, which is why I'm not only dollar cost averaging my position into Bitcoin right now, but I'm also looking at other coins. So one interesting thing about our total market capitalization dominance right now is we're seeing the market here for a long time when Bitcoin went down, altcoin dominance went up. So it would act as a hedge against Bitcoin. It was an inverse relationship. And you can see when Bitcoin went up here, altcoins went down. When altcoins went up, Bitcoin crashed. And then the difference I'm seeing right now is Bitcoin is going up in dominance minutely, while if you pay attention to these altcoins, they're also going up alongside with Bitcoin. That is a shift in pattern. What does that indicate to me? Well, as a trader, that indicates that altcoins are starting to see more confidence and it makes sense because understand here, if y'all are getting our trade alerts, Yesterday, 23 hours ago, less than 24 hours ago, we had a very nice trade alert here yielding over 10% profits. And then on March 23rd, we had another one. And these are both altcoins. So understand there's still opportunity in this market. The volatility is where the opportunity lies, not the price. So looking at this article, they're talking here about Ethereum, most oversold level since December 2016. Very interesting article talking about why prices are so low and in my opinion, you want to get into the market when it's low, not when it's high. Think about this. Would you rather buy something on sale or would you rather pay retail price? Obviously on sale because you're dishing out less of your capital. So understand that in my opinion, there is going to be a lot of opportunities with altcoins over the next couple of months. And I think it has to do with more of these retail and institutional investors realizing that there's all these great projects like VeChain, Dragon Chain, Cardano, EOS, Stellar. Like, understand that 12 months ago, most retail investors and institutional um, investors only really had the foresight to buy into coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum because that was all they knew. But now that we're starting to see all these other altcoins coming into fruition, we're seeing Binance becoming a major player in the exchange market, truly trying to revolutionize what it means to have a decentralized exchange by creating their own blockchain. It shows to me that 
more and more buyers are going to be coming into these markets and these exchanges like Binance looking to purchase these altcoins. And I'm telling you, it makes sense. Think about the dot com bubble, right? Where there were only a few websites and then multiple, multiple websites came out. And then the goal was to find out which websites were actually worth something intrinsically because intrinsic value is what's going to keep a price up and in an upward trend versus speculative value or being in a bubble market like we're in right now. So talking about altcoins, where is a good position to enter right now with altcoins? Well, look at Ethereum's chart. This is probably going to be the most influential altcoins to other altcoins because it is a true altcoin. And you can see we're starting to find some known support levels here right around 400 US dollars. And I want you to pay attention to the time frame here because really the speculation uh, was peaking right around the end of December, but it started in the beginning of December. And prior to that, there were some very consistent price levels. So what that tells me as a trader is these consistent price levels where we see that stability, we see these horizontal channels, those are more of a intrinsic uh, value of the coin, if that makes any sense. Like these are prices that are reasonable for this coin. And in my opinion, we're heading towards those levels right now with Ethereum. Obviously, back in September and October, and even it goes probably back up to around July, there were not as many people in the market as there is today. So being that the prices are at these levels, you can see even the volume here is starting to uh, ratchet back up comparative to what we saw around these times. And in my opinion, these are the reasonable price levels for these coins right now. And I think being able to start dollar cost averaging once again, Dollar cost averaging is, is something that's been around for years, years and years and years and decades. So for me, it's the best way to allocate your capital uh, towards these assets properly in a way that allows you to average out your price. And it's the riskiest, uh, it's the least riskiest way to do things. So um, in my opinion, being that we're heading towards these support levels, we're under the 200, the 50 and the 100 day moving average on the one day. The RSI is completely oversold right now. Um, not only that, you can see the MACD is starting to stretch all the way out here. It's only a matter of time until we're going to start to see this MACD starting to curve back. And that curve is going to indicate when we want to start entering into this position. So what I'm watching right now is the MACD. What you can also do here on TradingView is you can actually set alerts here. So if I were to put a line like right here and I wanted to set an alert for when the MACD hit this line, I could literally just do that, create an indicator alert and now i have that alert set so i am waiting to enter my position in right now in altcoins specifically ethereum right now being that it has the most true intrinsic value has the most use case um and getting in and locking in my positions with these larger coins right now is what i want to do so that i can start focusing on allocating my assets and diversifying as a long-term holder within my long-term portfolio. So having a long-term portfolio, a swing trading portfolio, a day trading portfolio is important because you need to separate those. They're all different styles of trading. So looking at that, another good thing coming for Bitcoin is the Lightning Network, right? That's gonna solve all of these issues with scalability, transaction speeds, and you can see that it's actually being worked on right now. And this is something that coincides with what we've been talking about over the past couple of weeks here on Sniper Stoop, and it's the fact that the market is still maturing. Understand that they've got a thousand lightning nodes right now running the software on live computers without any sort of real benefit since it's not live yet on the main net. So looking at this type of news tells me that there's more and more intrinsic value being built here for the cryptocurrency market and for Bitcoin specifically with other coins in the mix. Another great story here is Bitfinex adding Fiat pairings, that's a big deal. You can see they're adding it for NEO, Ethereum, EOS, IOTA. That is going to allow some of these coins to separate themselves from Bitcoin because traditionally these coins follow Bitcoin so much because it was the only coin you could have traded for those specific coins. But now that USD pairings are coming into the mix, or at least fiat pairings, USD not just yet because of regulatory issues. That's why I think that Bitfinex is not necessarily going towards the US. Uh, consumer base just yet. That's why they're only adding it for the Japanese currency as well as the GBP, I believe. So regardless of that fact, it might start with international markets, but it'll eventually transition into bigger players like the US, like Canada, like other countries of that nature. And when that happens, I think the market is going to start to mature. People are going to realize that this technology is real and things are going to become more and more uh, progressive. And 
once we get to that point is really where I think things are gonna change in this market. And I want all of y'all to stay optimistic. Understand prices going down are good. The best days in the stock market are always after the worst days in the stock market, right? That's a known fact, a known principle. So for those of you in traditional markets, you know what I'm talking about. Keep your optimism there. Understand that prices saw an exuberant run up in December and that healthy corrections are imminent and they're extremely good for the overall future of any technology. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Snipers out.